My name is Bo. My name is Coco. I'm Jessica. My name is Jason. I served in Japan for three years. Southeast Asia for 11 years. In Japan for seven years. 10 years in the Amazon jungle. Today I'm going to be answering questions about missionaries. <laughs> Whoop! Was that supposed to happen? Four suitcases and a guitar. It was an electric Mexican uh, Fender Stratocaster. We had five suitcases and a backpack. Thought we were doing pretty good. I think I had four suitcases. And I just remember the look that the lady at the counter gave me. She was like, what? So I was like, dude, I only had four bags. It wasn't that bad. I would say exhausted. It's a lot of work, especially if you have kids. <laughs> I would go even low. I'm gonna break them. Probably bowing with like their hands up. Sort of like, I'll take what you give me. Ah, what am I doing here? <laughs> but it's still easy to be like, oh, you know, I wanna do this and I wanna do that and I wanna disciple and I wanna evangelize. And actually, it's really hard just to like buy milk. So, really, I'm, if I'm lucky, if I get like one of those things, I'm really lucky. If they're just getting there, it would probably be like, What's happening? Long term, this is the one that just kneeling down and just in prayer. Yeah. <laughs> Why are missionaries so weird? Missionaries are definitely weird. You have to be a certain crazy to want to go. Missionaries can be thought of as weird. You know, you sort of have your normal ways of living when you're in the US, and then you have to like learn a whole new set of rules. If you live in a certain place, for a long period of time that the culture and language is just completely different from, you know, back where you're from. And you begin to change to adjust to the new place and uh-oh, when you try to come back to America, you don't really fit in. I did not. I actually really didn't think I ever wanted to be a missionary. I wanted to be an orthopedic surgeon. When I went to college, I thought I would be an architect. And then I realized I couldn't do math. And so I had to figure something out, out real, real quick. I didn't like go to mission school. I didn't have this like lightning bolt calling from the Lord that I'm gonna like bury my bones on the mission field. And so then I really felt like I was a little bit of an imposter. You know, I ended up working in the film industry. It was on a film set one day that the Lord just put it on my heart to go to Japan. When I went to college, I went to a Christian Bible college and we had a lot of missionaries come in and speak. And through the process of learning from them and also studying the Bible more, I became really passionate about the idea of reaching the unreached. And that's how I felt a sense of calling to go and serve as a missionary. I've never looked back. 